Hello and welcome to the first series of the videos that I'll be creating to sh show you and teach you how to create a dynamic websites. <coughs> uh, today we're not going to be doing any coding, we're just going to be looking at all the tools. We're going to be gathering all the tools that we will be needing to create the website. So um, the tools that we'll be needing is the PHP, MySQL, and Apache. Apache is the web server. These are the things that I'll be explaining in the near future. MySQL is the backend database tool that we're going to be using. It's the database, it's the database engine that you can use to store the data of the website, such as username or the pictures, you know, things like that. PHP is the is the scripting is the scripting language that we'll, we'll be using to query the database. So the PHP, the MySQL, and the Apache they all work hands in hand. So they like friends. <laughs> so um, without much further waiting, we have to go ahead. But what I want to point out here is that it is perfectly possible for you to download all these three things that we need you know you can download them separately you can download PHP install it on your computer download MySQL install it on your computer and download Apache uh, but it, um, it's too much trouble and um, you have to do a lot of uh, configuration so that PHP knows where to find MySQL my SQL needs to know to, how to talk to PHP, and uh, you have to do some pointing to in, within Apache, to, you know, to configure it on where to look and find the rest of the file. I mean, it's it's not difficult. I mean, I will actually be talking about this in the forum on my website, but the thing is, th there are there are other tools that have been developed now nowadays that makes all these things very easy. Uh, one of them is. Uh, WAMP, which you're looking at on my screen now. WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So it's just a single install. And what it does is, if you look here, it says WAMP Server 2.0. You know, it, it includes all the latest Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Yet, so just installing this, um, doing this installation, put all the necessary things that you need so you can actually you can start coding right away uh, another one that I want to show you is uh, ZAMP is there there is I mean is is the same thing as WAMP the only there's no difference is for Windows you can install it on Windows you can install it on Linux you can install it on Mac so but today I'm going to be downloading and installing WAMP so uh, if you want to follow along with me it's fine so let's start let me click on download so and uh, we want to download WAMP server 2.0 these are all the things that it's going to install on your machine Apache 2.26 I think that's the latest PHP 5 SQLite manager my SQL and PHP my admin we're going to be talking about everything in the future so uh, now let me click on download uh, my internet is kind of slow today but I am sure that right so you what, what the best thing today is that I'm going to pause this video download and when I'm about to install it then I'm going to show I'm gonna get back to you guys okay now I'm back so one server one server has been downloaded so now it's time to install it on the machine so we click on next accept the agreement okay we don't have time to read through but if you want to read through it's fine <laughs> click on next it's going to install it on your C drive C slash WAMP which is fine with me 160 meg of free disk space is required that is fine I want it I want a desktop icon if you want you can 
choose a quick launch icon next then install uh, this might take a while as well but uh, I'm not sure so let's watch let's see what he's doing uh, I think I'm going to pause the video again so that uh, we come back to it oh it's almost done it's dragging along okay beautiful beautiful it's actually not bad Firefox has been detected on your computer we you like to use it as the default well it's not yeah that's fine okay I think the uh, installation is almost done la 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 okay please specify uh, windows as detected okay just click on unblock because you don't want windows to be blocking your web server SMTV server SMTV server I don't think we need that yet I do not need SMTP I mean we're going to set the SMTP server very soon but not yet so now let's launch WAMP server 2.0 now finish we should see if it's successful right I think it's been launched and this is it uh, you can't see because my screen is not recording it but it puts an icon right so if you look at it everything has been installed now on my machine so this is my PHP directory and you can see all the PHP settings, the extension, php.ini file, php error log, the, my SQL is there, the version, so I can start all services. Right, that I started the services and can also, if I go to www.directory, that's where you will be putting all the files that you created so now let me show you how that works if I go to if let me start Firefox and show you what my local host is TTP forward slash local host right one server I mean sure just looking at this alone shows you that you have no project but the installation is successful and now you can write PHP so now let's write, let's write our first PHP code so now for you to write a PHP you need this little thing that's the way to write a PHP you must always start with this that's the tag the beginning and the closing tag for any PHP document so this is going to be processed by the PHP engine so now let's start echo hello world hmm, hello world is always the first application that you write hello world now you have to handle it with a semicolon let's save it in our file save us now we have to go to computer the C drive remember why we installed it we installed it on the WAMP and inside the WW we have to save it there so this is always remember to check this all file and name this first PHP no don't let's say it's a first document no sorry let's say hello world dot PHP do not forget to put the PHP at the end of the file so save it we can close it now if we go to our locals and type hello world dot PHP we should see the, we, should, we see hello world that means everything works fine so that's the end of this video I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back for 